Okay, let's try and document the worthless season of the 2012 New York Jets. After the Broncos got Peyton Manning in a trade, amazing deal. They're going to end up being like 13-3 and three now with the number two seed with the first round bye. Just amazing comeback by Peyton Manning. Um, they tr ended up obviously trading them and dumping them off, and they even gave Tebow the option to trade them to the Jets or the Jaguars, and he turned down the Jaguars, which was his hometown, home area. I don't know if he's specifically from Jacksonville, but I couldn't believe he did that. Obviously, they had a new owner who was in it for the money, and it was obviously a great business opportunity, and it's looking like now that that's going to be the only team in the NFL that wants him next year. All the Jets brought him for was the Wildcat, because if you can remember, Soprano, Tony's whatever is, Sperano is the offensive coordinator. He was the Dolphins head coach when they ran the Wildcats successfully. They were the first team to do that as a package with Ronnie Brown and the Dolphins, and that's the only reason why they brought him there, not to compete for the starting job. But NFL Network and NFL AM, of course, wasted all of our lives – just talking about Tebow getting an opportunity and how many countless hours were wasted on talking about Tebow and getting an opportunity. Sanchez has been so horrible all year. He finally gets benched against the Cardinals because he had three interceptions and Tebow ended up having like slightly fractured ribs, so he missed a few weeks. And they went with Greg McElroy whose career highlight, who who reached his life's potential in college and in high school. Um, and now then they gave him a this week, too, when he's healthy to return. And Tebow is so pissed off, he's, even though he's such portrayed as such a great guy and a team player, he was so pissed off that he opted out of doing the Wildcat and punt protection. <laughs> Shit's hilarious. It's like an article on ESPN. I'll try and post it. They allowed 11 sacks <laughs> to the freaking Chargers today. And Jeremy Curley had a 42-yard pass. That's more passing yards than Tim Tebow had on the season. I mean, he's proven terrible passer, obviously, and it's a passing league. Even though he took the Broncos into the playoffs last year, it's like... Let him do his thing. Let him do his gimmick in Jacksonville. He only went to New York just for the attention, just for the publicity. The guy just wants more attention for doing good things. It's like, why does he crave that attention? I don't get it. He's not that great of a guy. When when Hurricane Sandy hit New York, he bolted out. The, the Jets were on a bye week. He was in Jacksonville. Um with his actor girlfriend Camilla Bell, whose career has also gone to hell. Was he handing out sack lunches to fire fighters in New York? No. He was at the bowling alley making out with her like they were in high school still. Fucking pathetic. That's all I have to pretty much say. I'm so sick of everyone just talking about him. And not people, I'm just talking about even ESPN just giving them the just wasting our lives and giving them all this attention and we we'll just stop. That's all I have to pretty much say on this. This is a JBM 2K. This is my sports channel. It's December 24th, 2012. I'm out. Jets suck.